And welcome back on this uh I was going to say Wednesday, but it is Wednesday morning. Johnny, D Johnny Dees isn't with us this morning. But yesterday, Jamie had the uh, privilege of going to Florence and interviewing Percy Sledge. We're going to end the show this morning with that video. Hope you enjoy it. Be careful on your way into work. Seatbelt. We'll be back tomorrow. Bye. You don't ever walk back to a cotton field, do you? Oh, yeah, I stopped on Natchez Street and pulled up me a big stalk. Really? Yeah. That lit September and October. I picked me up a big stalk by like that. I see so many bulls on it. It's so one of them put me in jail. And I'd take it home and put it around my fireplace, you know. You ever been in jail? I've been in jail one time. I have, too. <laughs> I was scared to death. I was, I was only in for two hours. I didn't get to I didn't have to say anything. What are you in for? I was in that uh, look, trying to get us to see a show, trying to see Ray Charles. <laughs> and so, you snuck in. Yeah, I was up under the floor. You know, you know they up had on the floor. these floors where they had coal and stuff yeah. in the store up under there. And the stage was right, uh, was right up over the yeah. floor there. And so we went, slipped around, and went in the back door and got down on our knees and looking. And uh, and then we was having a few little drinks of wildcat. <laughs> no! Yeah, wildcat. young boys, wildcat whiskey. Yeah, I know. And that was the reason why the police took us to jail. But, uh, my auntie come got me out. How old were you? I guess about 14, 13. They put you 14. in jail? Yeah. I guess they had juvie, juvenile back then, did they? Oh, yeah. See, you know what? I believe they're joking with me because they was waiting on my hand to come get me and they just let me go home. Oh, okay. <laughs> when you did A Man Loves a Woman, can you remember the first time you recorded that? Mm-hmm. I never, how could I ever forget it? It's impossible. You know, when we first did that song, I left the baseball field. And uh, Quinn Ivy told me, he said, look, uh, Percy, do you think you still remember that melody? Uh, why did you leave me, baby? Because see, that's the melody I was singing. Wow. When Quinn heard the melody, I said, I can never get it because it's the same melody that I used to sing when I was on my knees picking cotton cotton, you know, in my young days. A melody I always used. Did you actually sing while you were picking cotton? Yeah, sung so all the time for the old people. I'd get ahead of them and we are here now where I could stand on the end of the row and get under the tree and sing. And let my what voice. songs would you sing to them? I sang all kind of most country western songs then because they were the only ones I knew because we couldn't, you know, uh, rock and roll or nothing like that where I was living at. Hank Williams Sr. and Marty Robin, Jim Reed and all them kind of people. Songs that I was singing during those days. Back to the Man Loves the Woman. You start singing in the cotton field. The lyrics to that, I've always heard people say they have such a meaning to it, that song. Now, we've all been dumped by somebody before. <laughs> I knew you had to put it like that. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess in a way you're right. But you could carry a tune. I can't. So what, you got any favorite parts of that song that just mean something more to you than anything else? You know, believe it or not, Jimmy, every word in that song is just a classic word to me. Because I've sung it Classic so word to everybody time. else, too. You know, uh, now my mom, loving eyes, could never see. She'd always tell me that when I come see her and I get ready to leave. She said, I remember, son, loving eyes could never see. She'd always tell me that whenever I go get in my car and hit it back to Louisiana. You know? That was her favorite line. But when a man loves a woman, the story is, is such a beautiful, strong, true story. Until from the beginning to the end of the song, it's just perfect. And I had some of the most perfect musicians and voices like Jeannie Green and Donna Thaster and all them. Everybody was just so together. It's, you know, since I've been around for nearly 50 years, well, you cut a song like that, you done done something because you just don't see it that often. When you wake up in the morning, you know this where it's at. 
Everybody says he's a real gone cat Get out of here Get out of here Early in the morning We're here for you Get out of here Get out of here Get out of here Get out of here